The display on our typical modern mobile device is quite sophisticated. It's high in resolution and supports touch input. However, it remains fixed in size, rigid, and rectangular. In this respect, they are insensitive to the needs of an application or the desires of the user. Foldable displays offer the ability to reshape and resize the surface to our convenience, and even permit us to carry a very large display in a small volume. In this paper, we present four foldable display designs and explore related interactive behaviors. Our first prototype is the newspaper. This format is a large sheet that has been folded in half twice. This allows the user to customize their desired viewing area from half a page to viewing two full pages side by side. If the user decides they want to reduce the viewing area, they simply fold the display in half again. The second design is a scroll similar to those used to transport and view long pieces of parchment. The user can easily alter the size and aspect ratio of the viewable area depending on the desired application. A fan design is a particularly good example of a foldable display. It can, of course, help you if you're feeling a bit warm, but it's well suited for single-handed usage, has a visible display area of nearly 20 to 1, and when collapsed, the fan can easily fit into a pocket. And our last design is the umbrella. This foldable display is able to generate a very large surface area very quickly. Variations in umbrella design can provide a largely planar surface to minimize distortion and maximize surface area usage. While the center column of the umbrella may make it difficult to interact with certain areas of the surface, it is effective as a passive display or using rotation as an input. One orientation sensitive behavior is supporting double sided displays. This is accomplished by detecting flipping to trigger a change in the displayed content. Flipping the surface in different directions can result in different behaviors. In addition to making magic tricks a little bit easier, this could also be used as a navigation method for moving through large documents. We can also respond to more subtle movements, such as changing the document view depending on the angle at which the surface is held. This is similar to a lenticular lens. The system can respond to both vertical and horizontal movement, for example, if sharing the document with a partner. In a tabletop scenario, this tilting behavior may correspond to implicit privacy states of the display. When placed flat on the table, the display can be considered public, since it is viewable by everyone. When picked up to face only the user, this can be used to indicate a private state. Similarly, if the display is tilted away such that everyone except for the user can see it, this could indicate an excluded state. As you saw earlier in the video, stylus input can be supported on all of these display prototypes. This is accomplished by using the same tracking approach for input as we use for tracking the location of the services themselves. These foldable displays allow us to fit large interactive displays into a small space. They can be dynamically resized by the user to suit their needs or to collapse them for storage.